Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Uh, first off, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone because the channel's just gone over 2,000 subscribers, which is incredible. You know, the fact that, you know, I really enjoy making these videos and the fact that people want to watch them and enjoy watching them too is, is just awesome. So I just want to say a massive thank you. Um, one request I get the most is what climbing kit do I use and what, what setup do I have? So I thought it's about time that I kind of put some clips together and just kind of went over the climbing kit that I use. So in this video, I'm going to do a quick um, whistle stop tour of, of my climbing kit, the current setup that I have. It does change quite a bit. Um, when I thought about it, I do have like a base that I like and the type of, of equipment and brands that I like using. But um, as a rule, I keep it as small and as compact as possible. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you what I've got, what I'm using now. Uh, a lot of these clips were taken in a, in the summertime when the weather was a lot warmer than it is now. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you like it. If you've got any other video suggestions or if there's any, if you want me to go more into depth with these products and the, the equipment that I use, please just let me know in the comments down below. And thanks very much. Okay, so first things first, I've got this um, current dock. This is a bag that I got a number of years ago from the Arb Show from Tree Kit. That has the majority of my kit in. And then I've got this rope bag, which is an old Stein one. This has been handed down from one lead climber to another. So my main bag is this uh, Karant Dock. I'm not sure on the size. I think it's like a 50, 60 litre, something like that. Um, the bottom of it's worn out now. I've had this a, a number of years. But it's in really good nick. It's been holding it really well. And um, I've got no reason to change it, so I'm just going to keep using it. Well, the first thing at a bag is my harness. And this is what I keep on top. Then got a throw cube and um, a silky uh, handsaw. And then got this little green Arbitec bag as well that holds all my SRT kit and bits in. For the throw cube, I use the Stein one with the Stein throw bag. In, in any line really, it, it doesn't really matter, there's some that are really poor and some that are good but this is I think the, the better one of the Stein ones, still not great but it does the job and um, I use a 12 ounce throw bag. For hand saws I've always used the Silky Zubat, the 330, it's just a great all round hand saw. On to the harness setup, I've been using a Tuffelberger True Motion for forever love it to bits, it's really easy to adjust and this is kind of what my harness looks like I store my um, chicane just on this uh, DMM vault and tuck it into the, one of the clips at the back I carry two slings, either the same size or different sizes just for rigging and redirects, that sort of thing don't tend to carry any more slings or anything like, other than that On my bridge, I've got this Petzl roll clip. It connects to the Petzl zigzag uh, swivel. I like having the pulley on the bridge. It just uh, makes turning left and right a bit easier, a bit less, fr less friction. Inside my climbing bag, I carry a couple of spur slings with a couple of carabiners, one of them being the DMM rig. I initially got this as a double rope pulley. I use a DMM D-shaped carabiner for rigging and any redirects. I use the lion slings in conjunction with that. Um, I like to have my slings really nice and tidy on my harness. There's a number of ways of doing it, um, but this is how I do it. I just put the loop through my thumb and through my small finger and just create a figure eight. Keep going round until you have a little bit left. Wrap it round and then push it back through where your thumb was. And as you pull that now through with your finger, you'll see that it gets tighter. And as you get snagged on stuff on your harness, it'll just get tighter as opposed to being untangled. I have a DMM vault on both sides of my harness so I can attach a saw 
to either side. I tend to always have some sort of pouch on my harness for first aid equipment and just easy kind of grab bag. These are the few bits that I tend to carry in it. To be honest, the foot ascender now just tends to just live on my foot. But I've got first field dressing, tourniquet, some plasters from Silky and uh, like so the, the foot ascender. Now this little Arbor Tech bag stays at the bottom of the climbing bag. It's just got all my little bits of hardware in really, mainly SRT bits and bobs. We've got um, a knee ascender from Petzl, a DMM Pinto neck tether, and these little tiny accessory carabiners from DMM as well. Just uh, any other little bits and bobs that I've got really. In my rope bag I keep both my ropes basically, the, my side strop and my um, and my main line, that's all I keep in there. It's good being in this bag because you know the rope bag can stay at the bottom of the tree and it means that my other bag isn't getting battered so that's why I like having a rope bag. Moving on to my main line then, this is a Yale uh, blue tongue. I had this rope for a good while now, uh, again was passed down to me. Uh, it's just the rope that I was given. And I run this on a zigzag with the, like I said, with the swivel on it. And um, a DMM Perfecto, that's the smallest of the oval carabiners. I like how compact it is. For my work positioning lanyard, this is something that I really like. It's the ART Positioner 2 with the swivel on. Great bit of kit. This is on a Tuffelberger uh, Tachyon, around 3-4 three, three, metres, probably more like 4 metres. The two carabiners that I use are the, the Perfecto again and the Shadow, both from DMM. Really small compact carabiners that you can fit and open with one hand really easily. In my rope bag in the side pocket I carry a lanyard for a large saw and I also carry a spur first field dressing as well. And finally, the helmet that we wear at Beechwood, it's the um, cask super plasma with the sword and the defenders. I've added the uh, visor, which is the smoke one. So that's it guys, that's basically my climbing kit. Like I said, it is a bit of a whistle stop tour. I am going to go into more depth with the kit because it's interesting. I enjoy the stuff I use and there is a quite a bit of thought and reason behind the things that I use. Really open to your comments and your thoughts on the stuff that I'm using and the things that you use yourself. So let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know what bits you may, what, maybe want to see more of. And I'll see you in the next one.